Hey everybody, welcome back, unboxing time, and sadly, no Mary tonight. We stayed too long at the cookout, maybe tomorrow? Anyways, we're here to open up the May 2017 Psy Fan Block, yeah, from Nerd Block. So, um, I usually complain about them not being sci-fi block anymore, because I really like to have a sci-fi block, but, um, you know, then it got really good the last couple of times, so, I don't know, fingers crossed that it's going to be good here. Um, also, I've tweaked settings, and I need to turn something on. There we go. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that mic was working. So, anyways, we're going to take a look at this, and because I'm not bitching about it being sci-fan, um, it probably won't be as good as it has been. <laughs> it seems to me when I complain, then it's like, shut your mouth, here's an awesome box. And when I don't complain, it's like, oh, here's, here's an okay box. Uh, but I am kind of excited to get in here. And again, if you want to check out SciFan Block or any of the other nerd blocks, and you, you know, you can check out the link that I have in the description below. You'll find all the pricing, all that kind of goodness in there. And uh, I guess we're just going to get right into this thing and see what kind of cool goodies we get. Guys, I also have to admit, I am exhausted. It's like 1.30 in the morning, but I barely slept. Um, and I've been exhausted all day. I'm on like my fourth wind. So uh, I'm going to have me a little sip of this stuff. Mm. And hopefully I can keep it pretty high energy for you. All right, let's get in here and let's find out what's up. They don't really do themes so much like they used to. I guess they do. They're just not as uh, prevalent in terms of theming. So we got a boxed item. I bet you it's a mug. Uh, we got a t-shirt. We got socks. That's cool. I always dig me some socks. Uh, oh, that's, that's the tag for the socks. Uh, is that it? Oh, oh, I think we got a reaction figure, so that could be cool. Oh, man, if it's another Twilight Zone figure, that'd be great. Maybe a comic, although it feels like an art print. This feels like a pretty light box, to be honest. So let's get in here and see the shirt. Already, I like the color, so that's something. <gasps> Ooh, actually, I really like this. This is perfect, especially for those of you, yeah, that have been um, are familiar with us doing Drunken Movie Night, because uh, <laughs> we've reappropriated this term. So we got a nice Get to the Choppa t-shirt from Predator. That's pretty freaking awesome. Um, is it not, why is it not focusing? What the crap, man? There we go. Uh, <laughs> get to the choppa. Oh man, it is having trouble. We're gonna we're gonna fix that. Um, yeah, let me fix that. Hold on. Sorry, I thought I put it on a better focus, but I put it on a worse one. But anyways, get to the choppa. Of course, that's usually our code for going to the bathroom on drunken movie night. But you know, it's a lot of fun. Plus, nice blood red. So sweet shirt. You got Jesse Ventura on there. Nice. Nice. Good start. Good start. I'm still a little worried about a lack of items in here, though. It does feel pretty darn light. Where's the pen? Here's the pen. Let's see what the pen's gonna be. They're usually pretty cool. <laughs> um, this is actually really nice. It's not my personal favorite, but this is pretty cool. Uh, and it's very detailed, so I do quite like this. Come on, let me, so I can show, show the folks at home. We got us a nice, stabilize that so you can actually see it, Harry Potter. It almost looks like 12th Doctor in that way. Maybe I'm just blind and tired. But um, that's a pretty cool pin, actually. I love that it's the whole character, so I think that's a pretty neat little twist. Uh, not twist, but, you know, thing they got going on. So, cool. It's like me when I was younger, honestly. As much as I hated that comparison when I worked in the movie theater. <laughs> Still pretty nice, though. Let's go ahead and do the socks. Let's see what the socks are. Ooh, okay, aw. Oh. You know, I'm not a huge Firefly fan. I, fan. I loved it at its time. I tried rewatching it recently, guys. I gotta admit, my personal taste, if you still love it, I'm jealous. I wish I could, um, but it just did not hold up for me. But these are really nice socks. You know, especially, see, here's the problem. I wanna, I wanna see, but it's trying to focus on my face. Um, but, <laughs> very high quality, awesome art print on there. You know, it's basically you got that whole uh, crew up top and everything, so. And it's on the sock as well, you can kind of see there. So, pretty cool, man. I do still like those, though. So, those will probably stick with me. Those are really nice quality, awesome socks. Okay. Um, again, though, we're hitting... We're kind of already hitting... I figured this would be a little bit of a letdown. It could still be awesome, but we're kind of hitting all those same franchises we hit over and over and over. Guys, hey, sci-fan, sci uh, nerd block people, there's more to science fiction and fantasy than Harry Potter and Firefly. <laughs> all right? Come on, guys. So much more, but there's like, those are the, always the things you're always hitting. Um, all right, let's 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 see what this mug-like thing's gonna be. That'll be hand-washed and people can complain again. Yeah, it's a mug. Um, it's a cool mug, though, I think. Where, how do you get in there? Here we go. Come on. Yeah. Groot coffee mug. Um, I'll show you the box, and then we'll actually just uh, go check that out. We'll take it out the box. 
Now this is from the Surreal Entertainment. If you saw the Nerd Block, it was a lot of stuff from this company. Uh, you may have seen, and you know, spoilers real quick if you haven't, um, the Groot Magnet. Yeah, it was an awesome magnet, but it's crap because the glue on the magnets sucked and it could not support the weight and you know, just unfortunate. But it makes a nice desk ornament. All right, so let's see, let us see. Hand wash only. No, this is machine washable. I don't know what they're talking about. This is like every mug I have that's machine washable. There's nothing on here unless it's just really cheap uh, printing, but it feels like your typical coffee mug. So that's pretty awesome. I'll take a chance in the washer. If not, you know, whatever. And I know a lot of people, you know, you complain, you call me lazy, call me lazy. I'm totally lazy, but it, to me, it's I would rather spend that time making videos and doing other cool things for you. It adds up. It ain't washing one mug by hand, so. I need to just stop talking about that shit. <laughs> you guys think what you want to think about it, I'll think what I want to think about it. Everybody live their lives and let's not be dicks to each other. Not that anybody's been a dick about it, but. Yeah, we're down to reaction and an art print. So, so far, t-shirt's the only thing I'm really excited about. Too many goddamn mugs. Um, the socks would be really cool if I was more into Firefly. The pin is really cool if I was more into Harry Potter. And maybe when I rewatch Harry Potter, I can get excited about it again, but my excitement for it's kind of waned over the years. Anyways, let's see what the art print is. That's a nice art print. I just wish I did more with art prints. But of course, we got Le Eleven from Stranger Things. So that's pretty nice. And this is printed exclusively for Psy Fan Block with a blind embossing. I don't know what, that, what that's supposed to mean, but you can kind of see that's actually raised. Here's the back. Sorry, I'm fighting a sneeze. And I'm winning, cool. All right, all right. Let's hope this reaction is like really super cool. I wouldn't mind another Twilight Zone one. I doubt they'd do that. I don't really know who it could be. Don't be a Firefly one. Ooh, ooh. Oh, okay, this is really cool. And this is an exclusive color variant for Nerd Block. Again, not my favorite franchise, but this is something different. Since I was complaining about it, it's always Firefly, it's always Harry Potter. Masters of the Universe. And this looks kind of glow in the dark. I don't know if it actually is or not. We'll have to check in the booklet here in a minute. Now, Funko doesn't do these anymore. This is a new company, Super 7. They've been doing it for a while. I'd love to get the Toxic Avenger ones. I think that would be really, really cool. And they need to do more horror ones. Let me get you a little closer on uh, the other people you can get, too. You know, I mean, I dug He-Man growing up. It's just not one that stuck with me the way, like, G.I. Joe... Star Wars Transformers did, and I know a lot of people did. I'm not knocking, you know, to each their own, just not for me. But still, this is very cool, and I do love that it is an exclusive variant for Nerd Block. So if they're teaming up with Super 7, that is a thing that keeps me interested in this box. So, um, and I'm very happy with that. That is cool. That is actually very cool. Okay, yep, just, just the booklet. Cool. Let me show you guys just the booklet. Okay, let's take a quick look, and then I'll show it off to you guys, because I want to see if that was if that is glow in the dark, because it looks glow in the dark. We've got some Guardians of the Galaxy stuff you may not know. Um, oh, I think you might have had other possible... Yeah, one of three possible characters. And I think they all glow in the dark. They do glow in the dark, but it looks like all three could have glowed in the dark. Glow in the dark. You could have got Man-at-Arms, and who's the, the lady that I'm not remembering? Sorceress. <clears throat> so you would have gotten variants, exclusive variants of that. That's the kind of stuff I like, and even though it drives me nuts because I'd want to own all three, um, I got He-Man, so I'm pretty happy with that. Also, it looks like you could have gotten one of three pins. You could have gotten Ron or Hermione as well. So I do like when they do that variation kind of stuff. Um, so let me, let me just go through the booklet with you guys real fast. So there's that. If you want to check out the front, you know, you can pause on any of these. So I'm trying to hold just long enough for that to happen. Let me know if you're one of these people in these pictures. I should look. Maybe some of you guys had recognized. Uh, maybe, maybe. Let me know if it's you. <laughs> you got uh, the 10 things about Guardians of the Galaxy that uh, maybe you didn't know. You got your ad for Valor Block, your little thing about what's in sci-fi block. And now here is uh, this part, which we'll get a little closer so you can kind of see all the different ones. So there's like the three you could have got. There's the three pins you could have got. Everybody got the same socks. Looks like everybody got the same art print. And everybody got the same t-shirt. Got all this stuff. Next month's theme is places. Cool. That's a very, very vague theme, but all right. We got a Harry, Harry Potter art, Harry Potter article, and Hogwarts pets and an ad for comic block. 
And of course, the Doctor Who block, that the first one was incredibly disappointing. Hopefully the next one will be better. I'm giving it a shot a little bit longer. You know, I need boxes for you guys anyways. But there you go, that's the May 2017 Sci-Fi Unblock. Not as great as the last one, but still pretty good. Awesome t-shirt, awesome figure, pretty cool mug. Uh, great socks if you love Firefly, good socks for me. Great pin if you love Harry Potter, good pin for me. Um, yeah, so overall pretty good. I think that hit it. I think that's worth the value, like the $20 box or whatever it is. Um, so yeah, cool beans. What about you guys though? Did you think this was good? Did you, was it worth it? Did you get it? Do you wish you had? Which of the variants did you get pin and figure wise? What do you think about these figures? What would you like to see? What other th lines would you like to see them make? I love they did the Toxic Adventure. I'd love to see more from Troma in there. I think that would be really cool. Actually, Stranger Things reaction figures. That would totally fit with like the time period and everything. I hope they're working on that. That'd be very cool. And because now I'm new into gaming, Overwatch would be cool because I'm obsessed with Overwatch now. Uh, but anyways, let me know what you're thinking. Geek out with me in the comments. Let's have a good time doing that. Other than that, you can click that thumbs up button. Give me that good old thumb of encouragement. I do love to be encouraged. All right, I'm going to get out of here. Go open up some more stuff. Have my drink. And I'll see you all later.